So I was checking out the WP Crew Facebook group today and Geert Bonomi, sorry if I butchered your name there, posed a question about anybody that's using the templates that's part of Elementor, especially if you have a lot of those, does anybody use a way of organizing, adding notes and things like that in? Or was it a way of doing it? So this kind of got me thinking and after having a little bit of a play about, come across a way you can do just that. Now, if you're using tools like Advanced Custom Fields, you can tie in those meta fields into any kind of data, both front-end data and back-end data. So things like the templates, we can tie meta fields directly into those and use that information to add extra data, things that can be useful for organizing and finding out exactly what you need from templates, especially when you have a bigger list of them, very, very easy. Now, providing you don't mind adding a couple of different plugins into the dashboard of WordPress, these are things that could open up a lot of options with organizing larger amounts of data, including the templates that are part of Elementor. So we're going to take a quick look at how we can use advanced custom fields alongside a free plugin called Admin Columns. We're going to install those and I'm going to show you how you can add in extra data. We're going to keep it simple in this example. We're just going to put in a notes field but the basics are there and you can then expand on this as you see fit. So let's just jump over into the dashboard now so we can take a quick look. I've got Advanced Custom Fields Pro installed. You don't need the Pro version, you can use the free version. And I've got Admin Columns installed. And again, this is the free version. You could also use Custom Post Type UI if you wanted to create additional organization tools just to enhance what you have there as part of the categories. It's entirely up to you. You can tie those into the, the sort of templating system as well. So those options are there should you require them. We're not going to cover that in this video, but the technique is pretty much the same kind of thing. So first thing we need to do is go and take a quick look at what we currently have as part of the templates. So we take a look at our theme builder. We'll see inside there we've got the title, the type, the instances, in other words, where it's used with the conditions we set up, the author, the categories, which if we're using categories to group things together, that's listed there, the date and the short code. Now, for a lot of people, there's some information in this theme builder listing that's not really important. The author, for example, if you're the only person running the site or you don't care who's actually creating these, we could bin that off. The same goes with things like the publish date. So what we need to do is, first of all, create some advanced custom field metadata that we can link through to these items. So we're going to do that by jumping into the options for our custom fields. So we're going to create a new field group. We're just going to call this template extras. Call it whatever you want. I'll tie it up to you. We'll leave the actual labels and the fields themselves a moment. We just need to set up the actual location to tie this in to the templating system. So you can see where it says show field group in. Currently it's set to the default, which is post type is equal to post. All we need to do is change that and choose template. Because we have Elementor Pro installed and we have that templating function built in, we have access to that and tagging that in to ACF meta fields. So we'll choose meta fields and we'll choose, sorry, we'll choose template. Now we can go ahead and create our actual meta fields. So I'm only going to add one and we're going to call this notes. I'm going to set this to be a text area because we may want to put longer notes inside there. And if you want to set anything else up like required, you know, sort of default values and so on, you can do that. We'll hit publish. We've now created our meta field group. We've assigned this to the templates and we've added an extra field in called notes. So now if we come over to the template section and into our theme builder, open up any of these, just edit it, not with Elementor, obviously. And then you'll see we've now got this new area called Template Extras, and we've got notes in there. So let's just pop in a little note, just so we've got something in there, and we'll update that. So we've now assigned that to this particular template. Come back out to our Theme Builder, we can't see this. So even though we've applied it, we've got no way of listing it currently, and that's where Admin Columns comes in. So what we're gonna do is come into the Settings section, and we're gonna come down to Admin Columns. Once we're inside there, you can see my templates is currently open, but you can choose from any of these sections inside the dashboard of WordPress. So you could use this for lots of different purposes. And I've covered this in separate videos if you wanted to take a look at how to use it. But my templates is perfectly fine and you can see it shows us all of the current sections we have displayed in there. So short code, date, author, and so on. What we can do now is we can get rid of anything we don't want or we can just add extra things in if that's all we want to do. But for this example, we're going to get rid of author. We don't want that. And I'm going to remove the date just to keep things clutter free. Now what we can do is we can click on add column. And if we come down and change this from actions and we come down and say advanced custom fields, you'll see we get a notice saying you can't do this. You need the pro version. And that's true. You do need the pro version to do most things, but not everything. 
So what we're gonna do is gonna come down and we're gonna say custom fields, custom field. Choose that, we can use that option. So what we need to do now is change the title of this and we're gonna put this notes. You can set any parameters you want up for this, it's entirely up to you. The only thing we're really interested in is this field. We can click on there and you can see it shows us all of the different sections, all the different meta fields we can grab hold of and use. So anything that you wanted listed in there, like thumbnail ID and so on, we could use that. All we're really interested in though is notes. So making sure that's what's selected, we're gonna choose that. You can then change this to field type and you can choose what kind of field type it's going to be. I'm gonna set this to be text. So we know that the date that's gonna be in there is text orientated. And then you can see you open up some extra things. So we can say, we've got a word limit, no limit, a character limit. It's entirely up to you what you want to do. So let's just say we're gonna put a word limit in there and 20 words, that's perfectly fine. So at least we can get a, a flavor of what the note would be. Any display conditions for before and after. So if you were using things like numeric values and so on, you could drop in a pound or a dollar or a euro, whatever you want in there. Now, obviously, there are some pro only features that we don't have access to, and you can see they're marked up as pro. But for most of us, for what we're doing here, we don't need that facility. So we're going to say save on this. So that's our new column added in there. And if we want to, we can reorder this. So let's just say we're going to grab this and we're going to put this up next to the title. Hit update to make sure that everything is saved. What we're going to do now is jump back into the template section into theme builder. And we'll see now we've tidied everything up and there's our new custom note. So anything that doesn't have any entry will just be shown with this little sort of this separator light to say there's nothing there. But now we can easily come in and we can start adding in notes to any of our templates just to mean that we can find things a little easier when the title of this may be a little ambiguous. So that's how easy it is to take these two plugins and be able to add in extra data, extra information to organize the way that we want to take a look at those theme files inside Elementor Pro. Now what I love about this is if you wanted to use a little bit of imagination, you could easily create icons of the different types of templates. You could then load those into your meta fields. Easy, lots of different things you could quickly and easily do to get a much more user-friendly way of working with all of your theme builder template files and quickly and easily find and display things in a much more logical fashion than what you may find straight out of the box, especially with bigger sites with lots and lots of different templates. Well, I hope you found this useful. If you did, let me know in that comment section below what you thought of it. Anything like this you'd like to see covered in the future, drop those comments in the comment section. As always, all the applicable links are in the description. And my name's been Paul C. This has been WP Tuts. And until next time, take care.